Hey guys, this is Ken from Mahalo.com and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add photos to your film in iMovie. So let's talk about just how easy it is to add photos to our film. For some instances, you can use this to create a photo slideshow or you can use this to add images to your film. So let's get started. So I'll show you a cool shortcut to access our photos. Normally, we click on this camera icon right here, but we are cool and we're tech savvy, so we're going to hit Command 2. And here's an easy way to remember all the shortcuts. So Command 1 for music, Command 2, Command 3 for titles, Command 4 for transitions, Command 5 for maps and backgrounds. So let's hit Command 2, and there we are. And what's really cool about iMovie, it works great with other iLife applications. It works great with your iTunes, it works great with iPhoto, and it just they work great together. So let's go ahead and add some photos from my trip. Now the really cool thing here is I can skim through my photos and take a quick look at the album. Now this is the album that has the photos from Clifton's and this is a great picture to put in there. So what I want to do is put this in my video because it's kind of showing off my day. So we write Angel's Flight and then we walk to there and we enter the restaurant and then I cut to some footage and I want to add some images of the restaurant. So let's go ahead and throw this in there. All we have to do is click and drag. Now this green line indicates where my image is going to be dropped off. So there's one image right there. And let's go ahead and click these images and take a look at some of the other cool images we can put in here. This is a nice one. There we go. And let's just keep looking. That one's kind of out of focus. Nice overhead shot. And these green checks right here are indicating photos that are already in my slideshow. So it's a good way to remember if you have a lot of photos or you're creating a slideshow. And this is a really nice one right here. So we'll go with that one. And we just added three images to our slideshow. But that's not all. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the more advanced features. This photo's in it for two seconds. This one's for four. This one's for four. So if we want to change the duration, let's double click our clip and the inspector and we'll make it two. Now what I can do is hit this and it'll make all my stills two seconds. So we'll hit done. And for further coolness, we can click on this right here and we can give our photos a different look. But I just wanna go for a standard look. So now all my images are gonna be roughly about two seconds. So there we go. And we even for more coolness, let's click this icon right here and let's add some motion. Let's add Ken Burns to our photos to give them a nice motion because a lot of times when it's static, here, let's go back and I'll give you an example. So we're gonna go over here and let's hit spacebar. Okay, so that was okay. So let's go over here and go to Ken Burns. And then this area, it's kind of like, it's gonna give our photos motion. And it, it's really cool. It's gonna make our film a lot smoother. So let's go ahead and focus right here. And I wanna, so that's our start, the green area, and the end area is where it's gonna end. So I kinda wanna make, I wanna zoom in to that little, nice, little cave thing right there. And I'm not sure if that's the correct term for it. I call it the clubhouse when we go there. So we'll hit done and we'll show you the difference. So let's go ahead and hit space bar. So as you can see, that gave it a lot more motion. And while we're here, we'll add some Ken Burns to this one. Why not? Let's do it. All right, I will. And there we go. We're gonna add some motion over here. Then we're gonna focus to the second floor of the restaurant. And then we'll hit done. And let's give that a shot. And like I said, like maybe we, we like the motion, but maybe it's too fast. Well, like I said before, double click and change the duration. So four seconds. You can do it applies to all stills, and that's going to slow down my Ken Burns effect. And 
that has been our quick tutorial of how to add images to your film in iMovie. Well guys, this has been Ken from Mahalo.com and thanks for watching. If you guys have any requests for videos, please send them to request at Mahalo.com.